Like many teams across North Alabama, James Clemens is looking to start fresh under new head coach Chad McGee. The Jets went eight and three last year, but that doesn't mean they're sticking with the same formula. To be honest, everything's different. It's a whole new culture, to be honest. A lot, a lot of different things, a lot of new coaches. Quarterback Gio Lopez called it a good change, one that's already been making a difference in the team's seven-on-seven -seven games. Yeah, it makes it fun. Usually the first play of the game, we score a touchdown first play. It's happened every time we've done seven-on-sevens. The Jets are returning a pretty experienced team with a large number of seniors set to play big roles. McGee says he's not sure that experience will make a difference due to all the other changes the team is going through, but the team's winning culture is another story. I think success breeds success, and so you, you've got a, a great culture in place and a great foundation, and you know we're just we're building on that, and we want to improve, and you know we have lofty goals for this group. Though the team has a lot of seniors, Lopez says they don't have a ton of depth, which means that a lot of younger guys have had to step up. Seeing them fill those roles this summer has given him a lot of confidence. I ain't gonna say nothing, but I think it's a very good shot at a map this year. The hunt for the Jets' first state title starts against Murphy on August 20th. In Madison, Max Cohan, Way 31 Sports.